What's up, everybody? This is All Things Beer 510, and today we're bringing you a review from Tree House Brewing. This is Bright. Bright is a 7.8% uh, double IPA. Um, we all know Tree House, beer geeks, beer nerds, and even regular casual beer drinkers have heard of, you know, Tree House. It's in uh, Monson, Massachusetts. Let me make sure I get that correct. Um, you know, about an hour away from Boston, um, a holy grail for some of us beer nerds to travel there. I've had Julius, I've had Alter Ego. This is my first uh, double IPA offering from them, so I'm really interested to see what this brings. Um, you know, everything I hear from you know Treehouse, I've never heard of a bad review from Treehouse or seen a bad review from anything they brew. Um, I've had Very Green one time, but that wasn't on a review. That was actually at a beer festival. Other than that, um, I'm also expecting a can of green to come to me really soon, so I'm excited about that. But Bright Double IPA uh, hopped with a mosaic. This was canned on 2 2 so uh, maybe two and a half, three weeks um, old, you know, make, approaching three weeks. Big shout out to my man, Will, for holding me down with this can. Uh, really appreciate it. Will is the same guy who got me the... Um, Trill Bomb, he got me a couple other goodies, and he got me this, so thank you, Will, uh, much appreciated, um, just, you know, for looking out for me, so let's get a smell, let's get a taste, and see, and tell you guys what I think. So, yeah, Mosaic, uh, Mosaic hopped, a lot of people's favorite hops, berries, um, oranges, clementine, clementine, clementines, uh, a lot of different tropical fruits. Uh, with this hop. Beer is pouring out. Kind of gold. Not as hazy as I would think. Still hazy. But I've seen hazier from them. Um, little floaties in the glass. Um, like I said. Three weeks old. But it has a golden color. Golden. Nice gold color on the beer. Um, nice pillowy. Uh, f fluffy white head on this beer. Let's get up close and personal. Hmm. Okay. Um. Yeah. F fresh off that that you know, what I didn't get was when I opened the can last Julius. I smelled that like the whole room smelled like you know one big juice bomb. This is a little bit subdued, especially for a double IPA. It is seven point eight percent, but it smells um. It smells floral. I would say floral and tropical, um, and 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 with some berry character in this beer. I don't get the the tangerines or the oranges like some other treehouse beers, but I do get you know floral notes and tropical notes with this beer. Yeah, real big, um, almost similar to what I smelled with um, the double IPA from Cellar Maker and uh, Trillium. It kind of smells similar. Um, real big floral, tropical presence, berries, uh, light berries, fruit salad type of berries. That's what it smells like, fruit salad. Um, hot day on the beach, eating a fruit salad. This would probably go perfect with that. Uh, let's go get a taste. Wow, wow, wow. Um, I'm gonna pour this whole glass. No, no playing. Um, this beer actually takes, in my opinion, what the West Coast does great with a uh, crusher beers and juicy as far as just you know something being a little bitter but still a crusher, not too harsh on the palate, and then still have that juice um, bomb presence. That's what this is. This is a juice bomb, but different. I would, you know, if you told me this was a West Coast beer, I would believe it. You know, Cellar Maker makes some of their beers, um, slightly hazy, not as hazy as East Coast, but still has that West Coast element. This reminds me of a West Coast beer a lot. It has real tropical notes, a little bit of bitterness, a little bit of dankness, um, a little bit of, you know, actually pininess in this beer as well. Um, 
and then, you know, like I said, a fruit salad. There's a lot of things going on in this beer, um, and I really like it. I really, really like this beer. And, it, yeah, I could, I'm going to finish this probably. Like, this is not a sipper of an IPA. It's a double IPA, but it is very easy drinking. Um, like I said, it's a little bitter, but not bitter to the point where it would turn like your average uh, non-beer drinker off. Like this is, you know, really nice, really tropical, really floral. Um, a lot of things going on, but still has that West Coast piney forest, uh, forest trees type of um type of taste to it um, a lot of things taking the east coast juice and the west coast uh dank and pininess and mixing the two is a good thing it's a nice looking beer nice smelling beer and the beer tastes really good um i would give it you know not uh you know it's not a five it's not what i gave julius and alter ego but i would say this is a four two five four five ish type of beer which is nothing to sneeze at that's a great great this is a great beer um a beer you know not a plus but a a a minus um yeah treehouse does it again um great brewery uh for people who want to ask me where do you get this beer from um if you're in the new england area and you know you have a weekend if you're in boston or you're in that area you can drive down there the weights are kind of crazy i think darwin has a video online Dar darwin beer reviews has a video about uh you know going to treehouse and how long you have to wait and i would say if you are going to go out that way go online see um I think they do camera releases on Wednesdays and Saturdays. See what they're going to have in cans. See what they're going to have in growlers. And just prepare to wait in line. Yeah, this is a good brewery. Uh, great beer. Treehouse. Brewing. Bright. Dope can. Um, if you see it on the trading market, you know, a lot of people from Boston. This is something I think they brew a couple times a year round. Um, so, you know, it's not hard to get. So, with that being said, you guys take care. Peace.